Hi, this is Dave Barnett with Elzetta Tactical Lighting with another video blog. Today, as you can see, I'm outside on a cold winter day here in Kentucky and certainly reminds me of the importance of thermal management. I've got my Elzetta knit cap on, my heavy coat, trying to keep my body heat in to keep myself warm. But when you're looking at an LED flashlight, we've got the opposite challenge. We need to get the heat that's produced by the LED away from the LED to keep it cool. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video blog. Now, a quality LED flashlight is able to produce a high output over a long period of time. Check out our video blog on the FL1 standard for more information on this and how most flashlights fail to achieve this. The engineering challenge in obtaining a high output for a long period of time is that an LED chip under operation produces heat. And if this heat is not quickly removed from the LED chip, its temperature quickly increases and a hot LED produces much less light than a cooler LED. So to be able to get this heat away from the LED, we need to have an efficient thermal circuit to take the heat away from the LED and sink it into the body of the flashlight. Now, to do that efficiently, we want to have this flashlight as close to isothermal conditions as we can achieve. In other words, simply all parts of the body are roughly at the same temperature. Similarly, here I am out in the cold weather, I want to be as isothermal as possible. I don't want my hands and my feet to be 20 degrees cooler than my core body temperature. Obviously, I won't perform well if that happens. And to efficiently get the heat away from the LED and maximize the heat capacity of the materials in this flashlight, I want to achieve similar isothermal conditions. Now to do that, I need materials that have a high thermal conductivity and a high heat capacity. That's going to require the use of metals. That's why quality flashlights are generally made of metal, particularly aluminum and specifically 6061 T6 aluminum. Now, if you have questions on why 6061 T6 aluminum is the optimum choice, check out our video blog on aluminum alloys. Now, as an example of a flashlight that does not do this, here's a flashlight where its body is made of plastic. Obviously, plastic is not a good conductor of heat. It's not a good store of heat either. And because of that, this flashlight in operation, while the body will remain cool, the bezel will get very hot. And flash, in fact, this flashlight has engraved on it, caution, hot surface. Just announcing to the world, this flashlight does a very poor job of getting heat away from the LED and into the mass of the body to create an isothermal system. Now the result on a plastic bodied flashlight such as this one, not only is it going to have to warn you of caution hot surface, but as that bezel gets hot and the plastic body does nothing to wick away heat from the LED, the high LED temperature is going to cause the output to very quickly diminish. Contrast that to an Elzetta modular flashlight with a complete body made of 6061 T6 aluminum that's going to quickly and efficiently wick the heat away from that LED, give you a near isothermal performance. So the entire body of the flashlight gradually warms, but never gets a hot spot that could cause burns and allows the output of the LED to maintain a high constant output. So as I freeze here in the cold winter weather in Kentucky, I'm reminded of the importance of thermal management, not only for myself, but for my flashlights as well. 